This blaster over here comes with a really cool holster. This makes upgrading and servicing a lot more easier. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. What I got over here is a Nerf T LMY Kong Lee blaster. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I'm assuming that this is going to be a pretty simple blaster. But aesthetically, it looks kind of good. Just like how these shoutout names are looking good today. For today's Saturday shoutout, I will have to thank Bows Nerf and Bots and Blasters for support the channel and if you guys want a Saturday shout out leave a comment down below and I will be picking a couple of you guys for a Saturday shout out just like how I always give Mac potato a shout out for always sending me cool stuff like this Mac potato is a local Malaysia online foam dot blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dot blaster just like this one if you guys are interested with one of these all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below In the box, we got the blaster itself, an 8 round magazine, a holster, 20 normal darts, 20 bamboo darts, and a manual. The blaster comes with these kind of darts, which looks like one of those Echo Strike hits but a little bit more extreme. And it also comes with a normal foam body and a bamboo body. The blaster also comes with one of this holster, which you can holster your blaster using the trigger guard. You will have to click the button on the holster in order to pull out the blaster. Load in the darts, put in the mag, and we are ready to go. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the aesthetic of the blaster is as simple as it can get. Or is there anything special hidden under the simple design? More on that later. It is definitely a sidearm type foam dot blaster. That in the same time, it kind of looks like a S200 in a way, but not too much. Because overall, this blaster is way more girthier and thicker than the S200. The weight of the blaster is quite light. It's about as light as one of these uh, Fire Phoenix blasters over here. But generally, it does feel quite solid. The entire blaster obviously is made out of a combination of plastics and aluminum parts. Of course, the entire body is made out of ABS plastic. The plastics at the bottom white part are actually pretty thick. Looking into the blaster through this uh, decorative holes over here, the barrel of the blaster is definitely aluminum as well as the cylinder. There are actually quite a number of metal parts on this blaster over here. The slight release lever over here is made out of metal. Yes, this is definitely one of those blasters that comes with one of these uh, slide lock mechanism, which means that when your magazine are empty, the slide will lock itself just like so. A pretty standard feature with one of these uh, imported blasters, but it still feels really good every time when I do that. This blast over here actually comes with a top quick release, which allow you to service and upgrade the internals. As you can see at the right hand side of the surface, there is two random metal pin over here, which you have to push it up individually. But first we will have to remove the magazine. And next, if you notice the left hand side of the blaster, there is two tiny protruding metal pin. And what you're gonna do is to push in both of this pin. After these metal starts to protrude out, you can just pull them out just like so. And then slide off the front Picatinny rail. With that, you can pull the entire top section out just like so. Seriously guys, I really do hope that all blaster uses this method. This makes upgrading and servicing a lot more easier. The blaster over here also comes with a real fiber optic sight, which is a good thing. Always love one of these fiber optics in these sidearms. The Picatinny situation of this blaster over here, pretty straightforward. There is a roll of Picatinny rail at the bottom of the blaster. Overall, the grip of the blaster is pretty comfortable pretty thick I like it the trigger pull is snappy just that we might need to put in a little bit of force to pull the trigger and what I actually found interesting with this blaster is not the blaster itself but the accessories more precisely the holster yes this blaster actually comes with a holster it is not the kind of holster that you see in the mark 2 or the mark 2.1 this is the kind of holster which reveals the entire blaster and its glory and holy moly it looks so good in your waist basically the holster actually catches the trigger guard of the blaster over here just like so and if you want to pull the blaster out you would just have to push this tiny button on the holster and just pull it out now that is tactically cool if we actually look closely at the blaster the trigger guard is actually awfully similar with the s200 let us try to holster the s200 well it didn't really click in place but it actually kind of works i'm not really confident running with this without clicking it in place when you try to actually push it in it still didn't really click in well since the fire phoenix have one of those a similar trigger guards let us try on the fire phoenix 
Uh, the friction is kind of strong. We could, in theory, use the power of friction to hold the blaster in place. So I would say this is an okay. It seems like this blaster is not going anywhere. Putting in and pulling out the blaster on this holster definitely feels quite rough. Well, at least it is much more secure than the S200. This thing still feels a little wobbly. But I personally think if you don't plan to run intensively, I think this is still doable. Other than the holster itself, the blaster also came with something pretty interesting, which is the darts that came with the blaster. The blaster actually comes with three kind of darts, two of them which I found really interesting because it actually comes with one of those Accu Strike type hits, but not too much of an Accu Strike. One with normal foam body and one with the bamboo dart body. The other one is pretty straightforward. It is basically a bamboo dart. Therefore, in the test, I will be testing this blaster with one of these uh, hardcore Accu Strike bamboo darts and one of these hardcore Accu Strike normal body darts. So, yep, enough of me talking. Without further ado, let us go test the blaster out. Okay, okay, we are back guys. So the performance of the blaster is actually pretty interesting. With one of these normal body Echo Strike darts, the blaster can shoot from 72 FPS all the way to 76 FPS. Definitely one of those uh, Nerf Elite standards. But if we actually use one of these uh, bamboo Echo Strike darts, the blaster can shoot from 79 all the way to 85 FPS, literally upgrading it to a Nerf Rival standard. The accuracy of the blaster is actually pretty good. Hitting the target in 6 to 7 meters is definitely not a problem. Problem. So far operating this blaster, I did not encounter any jams yet, which is a good thing. I do like blasters that are smooth sailing. So far, I would say that I'm having a pretty standard experience with one of these sidearm blasters. And does this blaster passes the wall test? The answer is yes, it actually looks pretty nice. So yeah, I guess that's all with the blaster. Surprisingly, a simple blaster. In fact, I'm actually more interested with the stuff that came with the blaster. So if you guys like this video, feel free to smash the like button. I will be posting video on Saturday or maybe once in a while on Wednesday. So do remember to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So yep, Gordon's checking out. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys! Yeah.